you may have recognized this climb. It is one of the legendary climbs of the Alps and of the sport. It's out the way with its 21 hairpins. So, I'll do it. this is it, kilometre zero, which is all the best. Right. One of the most iconic climbs, I reckon, in the whole of cycling, Tom. Yeah, have you ever done it before, Matt? Well, I rode it last in 1986, so uh, I wonder if it's changed much. Which viewers was two years before I was born, three yeah, years after Simon Richardson was born. Thanks for reminding us of that. And probably about six years before filmmaker Tom was born. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll see the sun break through soon. The weather as ever here in the Alps, remarkably changing. Each hairpin on the Alp Duos has a name and a number. We're on hairpin 18, which is named after Henny Kuiper, who won in 1978, and Frank Schleck, who won more recently in 2006. The Alp Duos has been used that many times in the Tour de France, and it's that popular that they're now having to double up on the names of each of the hairpins. The gradient now has lessened a bit to about seven, eight percent. Pretty much stays like this all the way to the ski station at the top where it actually drops and plateaus before kicking up to the line. The iconic stages of Alpe d'Huez, it really is a climb you need to respect. It is very, very hard and you need to pace yourself. Most mortals will look at climbing this in around an hour. Again, very steep at the bottom before a more of a gradual climb to the top. But still, there are sections just there of up to 10%. So make sure, unlike me, you don't go into the red. Whew, that was a cafe open. Oh, the way was first used in the Tour de France way back in 1952, when six kilometers from the top, Fausto Coppi attacked, leaving behind his breakaway compatriot, Jean Robic, for a very famous victory. It was actually televised for the first ever time. This is uh, the famous Dutch corner, and normally this is an absolute sea of orange. Oh look, there's, a, there's, a, there's only one nutter in orange today. Oh fantastic, oh, I've got no bottles on either. Hey, nice one. Hey, hey. Oh! <laughs> Dutch corner, oh, that's gorgeous. Oh! I tell you what, this is definitely going to get me to the top. Oh, God. Right, I'm ready to roll. And that corner was corner three, famously won by Marco Pantani in 1998, en route, of course, to victory in the Tour de France.
It's the famous little tunnel with a resort overhead. And at this point, as the rod has emerged back into daylight, they can almost smell the finish line. And this is it. This is where, if you're solo, you can savour the moment. But if you're with a couple of other riders, it's a ferocious last couple of hundred metres to the line. And I know the last is going to roll me on this one. There you have it, Abduez. What a climb. Chapeau. Whew, time for a coffee, or maybe even a beer. Save something, wait for halfway, and that's where you can press on to the very top. <laughs>